Hello, beloved. I trust you're well. Well, you know, if you've um, gotten our last email, that this week I am at our yearly presence conference here in Pittsburgh. And uh, I promised you that I would come to you, and I'm going to do that. I am collecting wonderful clips of what God is doing and saying, and so I'm spending time when between meetings putting these clips together for you here in the hotel room uh, between services, but I can tell you it has been a powerful week. And so you're going to see different clips of the worship, of what God is doing. What he did this week is amazing. You'll also see uh, uh, my dear friend, uh, the former vice president of the Navajo Nation, was able to be with us, honor us with his presence at, at uh, Presence 2023. He came in just for a short time. He had to fly right back out, but not before uh, God spoke through him and to him. And you're going to see uh, the prophets <clears throat> convened and God spoke and showed up and ministered to his life as he ministered to us, as, as Vice President Leiser spoke to us and greeted the conference. And I'm so thankful to Bishop Joseph Garlington, my, sp my spiritual dad. I'm so thankful. And I just appreciate so much Apostle Bill Thimilaris for opening the door uh, for vice president to speak. And so you'll see, uh, you'll see some of that on here. You'll hear the prophetic words that were spoken over him and other things. So, um, so I am actually, we're on day, we're on the Thursday, uh, of the conference at this recording. I've got some more footage that I'll put together and, uh, hopefully early, on Saturday, I'll be able to finish all of that and get this ready for you on Sunday for our live stream. So thank you for praying for me. Thank you for just your support and what God is doing. I'm going to uh, be sharing this with you very soon, but just know that God is up to something wonderful. And uh, I'll share this with you today, but then I will add all of the clips um, by Sunday's message. I love you. God's up to something wonderful. Stay tuned. To present to us, and then, Myron, if you'll just stay right here for a moment. Jesus, Jesus. A number of years ago when we were uh, going for God, took a whole year to pursue the Lord. And uh, one afternoon, we were impressed with the idea of how much our land here in Pittsburgh is related to Native American history. Our rivers are named after tribes that flow into a river named after a tribe. And I was impressed to ask the question at the time as we were moving in intercession how many of our people who were present with us in that morning service knew that they had Native American heritage? And more than half of the people did. But then it occurred to me that when Elijah or Elisha came to Jericho, they said that there's something wrong with the soil, there's something wrong here because the water causes some miscarriages. And so Elijah said, bring me a new bowl and some salt. And he poured it into the spring. And he said, the curse had been removed. The curse had been placed by Joshua. And it had lasted for something like 400 years. But when Elisha poured that salt, it was a prophetic action and he declared the the land to be cleansed 
Um, we have three rivers here, all named after. And I, I felt like one of the prophetic things that you could do as a significant leader in that prophetic movement, I, w I want you to, I've got some oil. Yeah. Jesus. That's one of the big ones from Chuck Pierce, so I'll, I'll bring this. Come on. We're finding the small jars. No, right no, now. just give him this one. All right. And um, I want you to, to do two things. I want you to to pray over this oil. And, um, and I want some of our teams later this week to go to all three of those rivers. Mm. And pour some of that oil. Mm. Even if... Jesus. God. And with an expectation, because the prophetic word concerning revival has to happen. When there was a famine in the land, David, the Bible says, for three years he sought the Lord and he said, it's because of Saul's sin against the Midianites. I believe the sins of those who preceded us have created a challenge for us that only God can release. And yes, David couldn't say, okay, we're gonna do that. It took a Gideonite who had been offended to set the people free. Jesus. And David said, you do this. Jesus. So I want you to stand up, particularly how much, so much of what we're talking about. And I so, so appreciated the idea that you're not trying to get land back. <laughs> yeah, and I think what's important is that the, the original people aren't trying to get land back and some of the immigrants are trying to get money back for being a slave. And, and uh, so I'm not trying to be political, but I think there's so much irony that's going on in the nation and God's looking yeah. at it. You know that passage in, in Psalm that says, he who sits in heaven laughs. And I just think God's laughing against a lot, a lot of this stuff. When the real issue is the spiritual warfare. So would you pray over this, and then I want you just to speak a word of peace. Uh, even the county that our church is in is called Allegheny County. We can't get away from y'all. <laughs> and you're not gonna get away from us. Because come, if you like, there's a call. Come on. It's the partner in this house. Yes, Jesus. All right, let's pray for you. Thank you, Father. Father, you said that our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities and powers and dominions, Lord, in the year, Father God. So our, our love for our people is, remains, Father. And Lord, as we lift this up and consecrate this, Lord, to be used later, maybe perhaps as a just a healing balm, Lord, Father, the anointing oil, Lord, Father, that maybe you would use it, Father, as you call them, they would see fit to go in power, unified, Lord, strengthen and embolden, Lord Father, by your spirit, Father, to wherever they may be called to use this, Lord Father. And then let it bring healing, let it bring peace, Lord Father. In this consecration, Lord, we prepare a new word, Lord, in you, established in you, Lord Father, that you, Father, just want to rule and reign in love, mercy, and grace. So we thank you, Father, and I use it for your honor and your glory, Father. Lord, call those, Lord, that are inclined to hear, Lord, we're hoping Perhaps they have blood in them, Lord Father. The blood, Lord, that you, you have for them, Lord Father. That they, Lord, would recognize that they, and we all, Lord Father, are of the same blood, Father. And so when we realize that, Lord, that everything in you is established, that unity will come, Father, when we have your heart. When we talk about separate people groups, Lord Father, we only have a part of your heart, Lord. We acknowledge that right now in Jesus' name. And so all those groups that are trying to gain attention, Lord, let us hearken back, Lord Father, to your original people, Lord Father. Mm, the, yes. The sent one, the anointed one, Jesus, our Messiah, Lord Father. And as we think of that, Lord, let us pray for the peace of Jerusalem, Lord Father. Every time that, that we think of, of you and let Jerusalem be on our hearts, Lord Father. We pray for a wholeness, Lord, to be returned back to your holy people there in Jerusalem. The beautiful city, Lord, the city on a hill, Lord Father God. There's so much persecution even there, Lord Father, that the First Nations' lives uh. what has happened to your people in Israel, mm. Lord Father. So we thank you and use this time now, Father, as we consecrate this, Lord, for further work, Lord, established in you, in 
Jesus' name. And all the saints of God said, Amen. Amen. represent the First Nations, uh, may we extend that forgiveness to you all so that we all can be released into the destiny that our Creator has for us. Yeah. Proverbs 19.11 says that it is to a man's glory. The only time that a man can receive glory is to forgive an offense. To forgive. To forgive as hard as it is. It's the only time that a man can receive glory. Jesus. To forgive an offense. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Wow. Ooh, I receive it. Thank you so much. Would you tell them we receive it? We receive it. Would you receive him as well? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. amazing as it is. I don't have a full rendition of our vocabulary in, in our native tongue, but um, I can start a prayer and, and uh, pray from uh, the, the status that I have and capacity as Navajo and Comanche and a former tribal leader, uh, vice president of the Navajo Nation. Um, I was raised in a uh, Christian home, and so I wasn't given the, the full uh, gifting of our, our language, but it's a beautiful language. Again, you know, that, that Bible scripture that I gave you in First Corinthians, Though there may be many languages in the land, none of them is without significance. So, God, only God, we give you all the, the, the love and joy that we have, Lord Father. And I pray that only in you it can be established that we could love other people groups, Lord Father, that offended us, Lord, but we forgive them. In Jesus' name, it has been established. Like your word says, Lord, that you hold the sins of the forefathers back for generations, Lord Father. We release that now. We cut it off in Jesus' name. Jesus. Lord, no longer shall we, bear, we, we carry the burden and the guilt, Lord Father, of what our forefathers must have done and did, Lord Father, in, in, in Jesus' name, Lord Father. And so they were a miss, Lord. They were a ride. But Lord, you can correct and restore and, and just reconcile all things. And it's that spirit of reconciliation, Lord Father, that we wish to be under in Jesus' name. Yeah, Shazad, God, have your way. Amen. Amen. Amen.